Listen, punks, I'm going to go through the hacking tutorial because I had a little bit of trouble with it, so maybe you guys did too. Anyways, first thing is scanning. Scanning is basically just holding the tab button. I am on computer playing this, so it's going to be different buttons for consoles, but you just hold the tab button and just hold your mouse over the areas that you're scanning. You don't have to press any other buttons. You don't have to click or anything like that. It says hazardous uh, items are red, a hackable is green, and then like mission yes. objects are blue. You know, it's pretty easy to remember. Scanning is easy, even though I still have trouble with it. Magic on the screen. Okay, so now we're going to talk about hacking. And you're going to have to hack TVs and cameras and all that other stuff. So you're going to use uh, the uh, WASD uh, keys to pick. And then press F to initiate the hack. And you're going to let go of tab. And then the, make sure you crouch. If you don't crouch here, you won't be able to get to the guy and he'll hear you. Go nice and close to him. He can't hear you as long as he's crouched, so go nice and close, and then press F to grab him. I was very scared because I already screwed up this a few times. And there you go. Okay, so that's how you get through. This one's easier. Um, I only screwed this one up okay. once. <laughs> but yeah, yeah just crouch with C, and then go nice and close to him. And then you just grab him with F, and you can just take him down and hide the body, or kill him or hide the body. Either one is fine. There he goes. What a hero you are. Anyways, this last one, I really wanted to explain because it was kind of like hard to understand. So first thing is you got to hack into the camera. Once you're in there, you're going to be able to set off a grenade in one of these guys' pockets. So first you're going to have to initiate some type of hacking protocol. Let's see. I can't really remember what it's called. Let me just aim at the guy here. Scan them. Yeah, breach protocol. That's what it's called. So you got to do that, which gives you more um, RAM to uh, do special moves. Now, this this stuff is tough. It looks kind of confusing, but it really isn't. So you can see there where it says sequence required upload. It shows you the numbers that you need to uh, press in order to do the, uh, the breach. So all you got to remember is the first number you pick, you'll be able to pick a number that's directly across from it and directly below it. So see the first number is 55? So I know that if I pick that corner, there's another 55, which I need 55 and 55 BD and then 55 again. So I'm going to pick the corner, which lets me get 55 again. So I'm going to click 55. It, once, it's hard to understand a little bit. Once you get it, you get it. And then it's easier to see. So I'm going to click 55 here. And then there you go. 55 is down as well because I need another 55. So I'm going to go down and click 55 again. One second. And there we go. And then BD is right there across, right? So now I can get BD, and then I know if there's 55 across, and there's a 55 up, right? So either way, it's fine. When you get to the more complicated puzzles, you actually have to think about it a little bit. But that's basically how it works. Now, once you if, once you kind of wrap your head around that, they're all actually very easy. Anyways, I think that's all I really need to talk about in this tutorial. If this video helped you, please like it, and don't subscribe to me. I hope you guys like this no-nonsense style of tutorials. I don't want to waste your time with stupid intros or 10-minute long videos. I want to give you the facts and we can move on and keep playing the game. But fortunately though, YouTube doesn't like to support channels like mine that have content that's under 10 minutes. So if you want to consider supporting my channel by checking out my sponsor, it's completely free, completely free sponsor. It's a productivity app called ClickUp. Frankly, if you have more than four things to do every day, you need an app for productivity and for organizing your thoughts and organizing what you have to do. And if you make a free account, it supports my channel, it helps me quit my damn job that I hate. Anyways, check out the link below. I really appreciate it.